Ashley, hello, my love. Hello. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm good. Bit nervous? Very. <laughs> <laughs> so that we can all get to know you a bit better, tell us about yourself. What do you think is important to tell me about yourself right now? So I'm 27. Yeah. I'm from Scotland and I have been working with the Princess Trust to launch a mental health business. So I instruct mental health first aid. Um, it's come from my personal experience within dealing with mental health problems. Before we dive deeper into your experience of the Prince's Trust Mm -hmm. and this amazing idea that you had, let's talk a little bit more about you and where this all started. So you were diagnosed with PTSD. Yeah. Yeah. How would you say that affected your day-to-day living? There was a period of time where I didn't even feel like I could leave the house safely, where I couldn't go to the shops. just didn't feel like I could do anything on my own. What gave you the strength to actually step out and look for support? I kind of started off one-to-one and at the time I was really struggling. I had a I had a support worker and I I was really struggling to just talk. I developed a stammer and I had facial tics so it, it was easier to talk on the phone but I couldn't I couldn't get my words out. Talking to you now you don't have any tics, you don't have any facial tics. I'm sure that has been a long and complicated process at times, but what things do you think stand out in your mind that have really helped you get to a place where you're not back where you were? I mean, healing isn't linear. It's nope. ups and downs, but I'm still very much my own worst enemy and it's beating myself up about, why are you so down? You should be happy. But it's that you should, you should, you shouldn't. You should just accept where you are and accept that you know, life life is constantly moving. There's always going to be something that might trigger you. So at what point in your diagnosis and your journey to feeling better did you think, well, oh, I'd quite like to help other people actually here? When did that thought arise? I'd always kind of known that that was kind of the path that I wanted to take. It wasn't that I was destined for it. It took a lot of experience to realise that's possibly where I wanted to go. It was February 2018 where I was completely at rock bottom and I promised myself from that point that I would become the person that I needed when I was in crisis and I contacted the Princess Trust March 2022. I had all these ideas and I didn't know where I wanted to go at all with any of them. So tell us about the idea, tell us about what catalyzed it and where you're at with it today. When I was signed off, I did a mental health first aid course. So it qualified me to be mental health first aider. I wouldn't have been able to do the course either without the funding that I got from Princess Trust. So to have somebody that actually helped me pave the way and the funding as well, I wouldn't have been able to do it without any of them. So where are you at today with it? So you you, you did the course, you got your certification. Mm-hmm. I'm starting with the mental health first aid. So I've been doing loads of networking lately and I've got a few clients lined up. If I if I didn't have the support of the Princess Trust, I I wouldn't be able to own my own business. I wouldn't be qualified. And also you were awarded with the Princess Trust Breakthrough Award yeah. for Scotland. How did that feel? One of those moments where you are reminded where you are now and where you have been, how much you've achieved. Well it doesn't stop there because you've also won the stop. National <laughs> Princess Trust Breakthrough Award, no Ashley. That's nuts. <laughs> You've won it. Oh my God. It's yours for the taking. No way. Yes. You're going to the award ceremony. You've done it. You've won the award and you are so deserving of that title. So deserving. I'm actually speechless. Like, I actually <laughs> don't know what to say. <laughs> Give Thank us you a so hug. Much. Well done. Oh, I'm shaking. Well oh. done. It's amazing. Thank you.